Hi, I'm Simba, and welcome to the show, Making with Simba. Hello everyone, today, we have this big carnival box with a huge wolf for a Spinosaurus cult. And here's a hand tell that Jacob has been hiding on YouTube for like, forever, but he can play dinosaur skulls out of cardboard boxes. And here is him, walking past, so uh, let's get straight on with the build. And check out Spino for this thing after the video. So let's get started. And here are the things that you needed for this build. Or, so I say, model. Large cardboard box. Cellar tape or masking tape. Or sign of tape with a whiteboard pen for drawing most of the stuff. And this also helps as well for when cutting through the shapes to cover the general shape of the dinosaur skull. A pair of scissors and a demonst demonstration of the drawing itself. With all that being said, let's get started. Here is step one. For step one, you have to cut out the actual drawing of the general shape that you needed for the skull or Spinosaurus. I'm using what is a, a pumpkin carver knife sort of thing because it actually helps when you cut out a shape like the work of the sword. One complete, now it's time for step number two. For step number ten, you have to cut out the upper jaw. The upper jaw uses the same tools that you have to cut out the general shape of the mouth position of the dinosaur. Now complete. It's time for step number three. If you are using a pen, like a whiteboard pen or a sharpie, you, have, you need to draw all uh, where else the last place that you cut it, uh, the front jaw, or now you have to draw the frontal position of the lower and upper jaw. And so you can see tool coming out. Okay. I've done most of the, the design of the creature, and then the next thing I'm gonna use the same shape from the mouth and then do it on this side. And then after that, we're going to use a, the same template to create the sharp teeth and the little crust that goes on the top. Here's an image right here. Just around there. For step number three completed, it's time for step number four. So you might need an apple for this one because you need it to the pen on the other side of the cardboard box itself. So, let's do it. This is the step I was done, but it wasn't recording this whole time, so... Well, I got the positions in the right place, now it's time to add the mouth as well. With the white pattern, what I had to do is draw the general shape of the mouth of the Spinosaurus, and then after that, we're going to add some teeth in it as well by using the cellar tape. And now we attempt number four, number five, and number five. Mm -hmm. 
For step 5, you have to cut out the actual drawing only that you have done and then cut out the same shapes as step number 1. With all that hard work done, it is now for attempt number 6, and that is For attempt number 6, we will need a pair of scissors for the job Number six, you have to cut out long strips of cardboard to create the short teeth for Spinosaurus because it has more crocodile-like teeth. While I was cutting the teeth, my cat named Lucky actually decided to get in the Spinosaurus's mouth before the teeth was stuck in. It's done, now for step 7. Basically for step 7, now you're gonna stick the teeth together to create one world of sharp teeth for the Spinosaurus. And for the idea, I use sellotape and the idea is that you stick the egg the tooth on one side of the team and as the sticky part is or is facing the front on the back part the non-sticky part isn't showing so that's how I use the set a technique for sticking fangs
the chin more teeth. If you have one ounce of any more sharp teeth, what you have to do is create more long strips of cardboard and then cut it as in the shape of a tooth of a Spinosaurus once again. Step number nine, finish the, the job. For step nine, all you have to do is continue the process of sticking your teeth in the rows that you needed. For step number 10, you have to get a nice piece of cardboard and cut it as in the shape of a Spinosaurus because originally Paleontologists first discovered Spinosaurus has a little crust on, on the top of his head. Before we finish this video, or I should finish this video, or the symbols over there chilling right next to my sketchbook. And now we do that part of the camera going to have a nice painting the skull of spider source or any color you want. The original idea of painting the Spinosaurus, I was about to paint it uh, green, but all of a sudden I did not have any green paint, but instead I found different color mixtures of acrylic paints and a large brush, so it would be easier to paint all over the dinosaur itself.
A few moments later. So, been several minutes and I was painting these dinosaurs, but now it's all finished, huh? It's all finished, and now let's bring in the beast. Or 
because in 2014 this particular animal was redesigned loads of times with a depend on fossilised elephants or Spinosaurus hunting down as food because the animal was built for a really long time because originally Spinosaurus was standing upright like every other dinosaur was discovered during the 1920s as a matter of fact, Spinosaurus has a short snout instead of a crocodile like snout as it is today because Spinosaurus. Oh my god. Sorry about that because the skull has fallen down. I'll clean up afterwards. So, as I was saying, that the model of Spinosaurus was changed because originally Spinosaurus was up like upright like a kangaroo like I have said because its snout was short not a crocodile like snout because Spinosaurus had the fact that when people were discovering the skeleton of this animal that people were brought to their attention they called it Spinosaurus Egyptius and during World War II the specimens of this animal were actually destroyed during the bombing that, that the, most of the skeleton and Carcharodontosaurus skeleton were destroyed because they were incredibly fragile because these creatures have lived for millions of years and Spinosaurus was one of those victims that got destroyed by the bombing of World War II. In fact, this animal has changed age until in 2001 when Jurassic Park 3 was being made because instead of a short snout, Spinosaurus has now has a more crocodile like snout since it was being discovered most of the time because in, Spi in Jurassic Park 3, Spinosaurus has a particular tail that is even round and even stands like a T-Rex and as a matter of fact, Spinosaurus and T-Rex fought each other because in the film it was feels like Spinosaurus has a powerful bite than T-Rex because it's, it uses long particular arms to kill the T-Rex with if killing it on its head and that's what it feels like Spinosaurus was a terrifying monster during the Jurassic Park franchise. Let me show you more images. And this is the design of the Spinosaurus in Jurassic Park 3. Like as I said, it has a sail that has found a more crocodile like face, long arms and powerful legs for one aim. As a matter of fact, this dinosaur was was attacked by T Rex and all of a sudden Spinosaurus used those long arms to kill the T Rex by snapping its neck and then all of a sudden it fell into the ground and Spinosaurus win. But in 2014, Spinosaurus has evenly changed more. Let me show you that. It feels that Spinosaurus has short legs. As a As of today, Spinosaurus has a tail that looks just like this and a more aquatic tail with short legs and long arms and a little crest on its snout because in the skull of Spinosaurus it has a little crest on top of its head. Now it has the same style oil of a crocodile but with a different body build and it's even at a short size because this is a 2020 re reconstruction of this animal and with that being said Spinosaurus looks like this now but in the Jurassic in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous it has the same design as the 2001 Spinosaurus or which in fact competes against another T-Rex named Big E.T. E. but in episode I think it was episode 11 when Big E.T. actually got died during, during the attack 
of the spine of Taurus because it was being controlled on an Xbox controller like in, if you were playing a video game that Spinosaurus was controlled on just to get a bike force or to kill Big E.T. unfortunately he, she may not have died yet because she actually come back to rescue one of the main characters Sirius and Spinosaurus or, was working up after the mic after the controller got destroyed and the microchip inside of her skull was revealed that she that he's back in the modern world and Big E.T. and Little E.T. both T-Rexes came up to the Spinosaurus and the Spinosaurus ran away because the T-Rex was the next king of the dinosaurs. I hope you enjoyed this episode on the build behind the skull of Spinosaurus and the discussions that I shown to you guys on Spinosaurus's evolution and how it hunts in water. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Turn on press the notification so you never miss it's another video and the next short film on Dinosaurus Julius will be Dinosaurs in the Modern Day. Now, Dinosaurs in the Modern Day is a new film dedicated to the Jurassic Park franchise and as a fact, Dinosaurs, like Spinosaurus for example, able to coexist with humans on different environments around the world. But in my short film, it's going to set in a place called Doris Warren in Devon and it's recorded with the same camera I'm using as of today because now oh, I'm going to start doing live action short films with dinosaurs, like Spinosaurus for example, and other prehistoric creatures to bring in the Jurassic Park franchise uh, even more by fan made short films coming just straightly onto YouTube so I hope you enjoyed this video and remember if you're subscribed to the channel then welcome to a world of dinosaurs and other prehistoric pieces, creatures peace out